time to ask Dave. And Chris Sherman has a very good question. Dave, my friend is really depressed. When somebody says my friend is really depressed, it usually means that. My friend is really depressed. How can I help them create a perfect life and to have a perfect day every single day? Well, very simple, Chris. Talk to your friend about this. When you look at your perfect day, what is your perfect day going to have? Get a sheet of A4 paper and a pen and start writing down some things. First of all, if this was your perfect day, when would it be? Put a date on it. Is it now? Is it next week? Is it in 10 years' time? When would you like that perfect day to happen? Also, who would be involved in your life at that time? Which of your friends would be involved in it? Realistically, not the ones that are all negative and whining and backstabbing, whatever it be, but the ones who should be in your life for your perfect day. You can't choose your family, but you can choose your friends. But you can also make a decision on who should help you to create that perfect day. Think about also your romantic life. Think about your career. Think about the money. Think about all the different factors that would come together to make your perfect day. And then I want you to get that bit of paper after you've made those notes and start with your perfect morning. And write out a list and go through the whole clock. How would you like to wake up? Would you like to wake up next to somebody, or on your own, or in a foreign country, or in your own country? Where would you like to be? Describe in detail exactly what would be happening on the morning. And then what you do, mid-morning. And then what you do at lunchtime. Do you go to work? Do you stay at home? Are you financially able to not bother about going to work when you don't feel like it? Or do you have to go and keep grafting every single day? Well, this is about your perfect day. Write down what you truly have that would make you happy every single day. Where would you go? Who would you meet for lunch? Who would be in your life then? Who would you like to be knocking about with? Maybe it's your mate Jim, or maybe, even better, it's Sir Richard Branson, or Madonna, or Lady Gaga, or any of the people featured in this show. Maybe it's me. Write down who it's going to be. Go through your calendar, so what happens after lunch? Your mid-afternoon, then your afternoon, then your dinner time. Where do you go? Do you go home from work early? Do you go to work at all? Do you go to the airport and travel? What would make up your perfect day? Then go to your evening plans. Where do you go? Who are you with? What do you get up to? And then how do you finish off your night? Are you drunk? Are you sober? Are you partying? Are you chilling out? Are you going out for a walk with your dogs and looking out onto a beautiful sky and it's all quiet on the hillside and in your chateau and you're looking down onto a river and a lake and all your... I don't know. Whatever it is, write it down as your perfect day. Why should you do that? Well, very simple. Write it down because if you don't do it and you don't commit it, you're going, I want my day to be better but I've got no idea what it is I'm actually trying to create. Write it down like a film script. So you're talking about exactly how it is that you as the hero or heroine goes through that day. Now once you've got that, stick it up somewhere and look at it on a constant basis. Maybe you want to even narrate it or put together some pictures like a vision board of all the things that should involve your perfect day. Now why should that have any relevance apart from to make you live in La La Land? Well, this is actually quite a brilliant technique, and you might have discovered it if you've already started using vision boards or read The Secret or any of those other motivational things. The more that you visualize and you have an emotional attachment to something that you're interested in, the more your subconscious mind starts to look for examples of what will make that a reality for you. What does that mean, Dave? Well, very simply, you know when you buy a new car or a new dress or new shoes or new anything and suddenly you start seeing them everywhere? It's because your mind is interested in them. When you write down and commit your goals or what you truly want to have and you put visual pictures in as well, your supercomputer starts to look for examples of what will make that reality for you. A great example of that is when you walk into a bar or a nightclub or a restaurant and the noise is really loud and you're looking for your friends, and it's, it's so overpowering you think, I'll never find them, then you hear your voice being called, you turn around, and you see your friends. Now, you shouldn't have been able to hear your voice over the din of the music, but when your mind is looking for something specifically, it will go through all the clutter to find what's right for you. So the very simple answer to this is, Chris, you have to work on your perfect day. Get a piece of A4 paper, start working your way through exactly what you want from your perfect day, and then you can reverse engineer all that to be reality for you. As you do it, start to make plans about ticking off the boxes. You've got a set plan of what will make you happy every single day. And once you've got it, make it true. Mm -hmm.